Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back. Uh, looks like the Halloween events uh, landed. Looks like it's gone live. So I'm going to do something a little bit different in this video. Uh, I'm going to do like a, a live commentary, live playthrough type of thing. Um, or not live, sorry, but more real time. Uh, yeah, uh, the event just uh, just updated. So this is my first time going through everything. All the content's new, fresh. And uh, let's go through it together. So I, I did my starting thing, claimed my free packs. Um, looks like we've got some new tickets here. DMC Halloween tickets used in the Halloween event to summon forth various hunters. I'm sure we'll see what that's about in a sec. Um, there's some festival packs. So we got some pumpkins here. Don't know what... Okay, hold up. Uh, submit it in the fortune festival events to get lots of rewards and move up on the ranking obtained from event packs in raid boss all right this is kind of sounding pretty cool um sounds like we actually have some content to farm so we'll see what that's about in a sec here just gonna finish claiming the rest of my daily all right so I'm just gonna do my quick usual daily routine here and then we're gonna jump into the new event the new Halloween event stuff Yeah, it's really a shame. I wish they'd let us to replay through Realms floors. I'd really like to do that. Be able to upload more content like that. Same with story mode. Oh, looks like Bloody Palace refreshed. I'll hit that up later. And for the sake of the dailies and the slot of slaughter, I am just going to use my sweepers. Quickly burn through this. Oh, uh, you know what? Hopefully that's not a misstep right there. <laughs> I'm hoping that the raid doesn't require stamina. But, okay, yeah, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, okay, so checking out the benefits here. I don't think there's anything new, really. We got another lucky roulette, as usual. If you're someone who gets daily packs, this is uh, this is actually a pretty decent event, I guess. You you can stockpile a good amount of tickets. And then uh, we've got D E and E N, I believe, on the vault. And this event, everyone's favorite event. <laughs> I'm um, just kidding. Um, yeah, this one's horrible. It's really just RNG. And the re rewards aren't even really that great. So you're just kind of locked out. It's just, you never really get what you need. 100 summon, pointless for me at this point in the game. It's not even gonna bother. Um, okay, yeah, let's check out the carnival. Yo, what is this? Okay, so round ends in three days. Um, what do they want us to do? Total points? Okay. Uh, ranking rewards, damage ranking. Okay, so number one gets... So shape like a demonic pumpkin obtained by ranking first in raid boss phase one. Uh, there's a time limit on it? Three days? Oh, that's lame. This kind of stuff should be permanent. Alright. Um, wait, let me see. So level 1, current damage. So, I think on our server, we accumulate damage, right? So, if we get the 300 mil damage, we get all the rewards here. Which is pretty cool. So I think, because I think at this point we all know the servers are bracketed. So we like server one to ten is together. 
11 to 20 is probably together, 21 to 30 and so on. So it looks like, um, yeah, 1 to 10, we're going to be working together on this. What's this? Okay, so kind of another version of the roulette, but using these pumpkins as currency, I guess. Um, let's see what this is about. Oh, okay, so I rolled it 10 times and it gave me all this stuff. Um, I'm curious what this candy does. The essence obtained after submitting pumpkin lights is extremely precious and can be used to exchange for rare items in the Halloween event. Okay, so another currency for exchange. Of course, they gotta have, you know, some kind of battle pass where you get extra, extra stuff. Gems and pumpkins. Um, what's this? Okay, so this is the exchange for the candies. Um, I've got one so far. Uh, we will head over to the vault right away to see what, what kind of used in the Halloween event to summon forth various hunters. We will check that out shortly. Okay, and then festival packs, of course, costing gems and then real money to a stupid degree. But definitely get your free one. Um, top 100 for server group. 669 coins. Whatever that means. Okay. Um, how did I get another 9 pumpkins though? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just went through that. Okay. Well, might as well use these ones. Oh, okay. I just realized there's a bar at the top. So for every 10 pumpkins you consume you get one candy i'm assuming you get these pumpkins from farming the raid boss i would presume all right now i got two candies all right well let's not really dwell on this here um i'm gonna keep moving on to see what other yeah i got two candies i might as well just claim this for the gems and then yeah there's so it kind of works in the same format there you want you purchase one thing from the first level you can reach the second level so on so forth um, okay let's see what's in level three get access to uh, eternal nightmares alternate skin in four you get six legendary selection rune chest that's actually pretty damn good um, and then the final stage grants a selection of one hell weapon. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, so that's the festival or the carnival, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can sweep. Oh, there's two daily attempts. Let me see this here. Uh, limited time event raid boss. Festival Fortune, Festival Pass, blah blah blah. Raid Boss. During the event, multiple stages of boss will refresh with independent rankings and damage rewards. Each boss challenge grants pumpkin lanterns and points based on damage dealt. By utilizing privileges and battling with the appropriate style, players can receive significant bonuses against the boss. Um, rewards are distributed based on the boss stage time with independent rankings for each boss stage. Challenges cannot be made within 30 minutes before the boss countdown ends, and final rankings will receive rewards. Uh, each event features four boss stages. After each stage ends, the next stage unlocks, resetting, rankings, and community progress rewards. Damage dealt by all players in the battle zone accumulates towards progress. Once the progress requirement is met, all players can claim rewards. Damage progress resets after each boss stage. Players can reclaim community progress rewards in event rewards and however these will not be sent after the event ends. Additional rewards. Each boss will offer extra reward bonuses that activate simply by being present. No need to battle. Higher star ratings yield greater rewards. Festival Forge. Players can use the pump. Holy shit. Duh. How long is this? Yeah. I'd, holy. 
I'll probably take a look at the rest of this later, but I ain't trying to read this whole thing. Looks pretty straightforward. Um, oh, okay. So, level one, it's uh, Minotaur. Uh, level two, Caliber, it looks like. Uh, Beowulf and then Hellshade uh, that's pretty cool plus 100% electric damage ice damage is that what they're weak to claim rewards went to okay um plus 100% ice damage special claim daily of course they gotta have a price tag raid perks Claim daily, pumpkin light, in raid boss, plus 30% attack, in raid boss, plus one daily challenge attempt. Wow. Man, these guys, bro. They always gotta put a price tag on something to give people an advantage. Uh, what's the bonus? The higher the rank, the better the rewards. So the higher rank your hunter is the more rewards you get okay um okay you know what actually let's check out the vault um yeah let's see what's in the vault here so I'm just going to quickly do his hunter trial for the 50 free gems real quick. I know this one's easy. Oh shit, my controller just disconnected. Uh oh. There it is. Alright, let's see this here. Okay, so completed that. So we got DE. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and summon him because I'm so close to EXing him and I've got myself down to 30 pity, so I might as well uh, just give it a go. Um, yeah, instead of using 10, I'm just going to go one by one here. Should get it within the next four to five pulls here. There it is. And I get RG. I thought I was on the guaranteed pity. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. That's actually pretty badass. I haven't I haven't seen this before. I don't know. I just always skip it, I guess. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, well that kinda sucks. Uh, forget that um, 45 6 okay what's the celebration shit uh, 50 SSS limited fragments guaranteed at 100 summons this again this is kind of like what they did for the anniversary kind of summons you get 50 fragments of what grants a selection of any hunter fragment all right that's kind of cool it's a selection of any hunter fragment. Um, yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad for a hundred summons. Um, what is this banner though? Like, who's in this banner? Oh, these two. So C A and E N. Legendary hunter weight fifty percent. Eh. Don't really care for them, to be honest. The 100, the one, I mean, sorry, the 50 fragments is nice of, of a, any hunter of your choice, but I don't think it's, for me, it's not worth dumping 100 summons into for this one anyways. But then again, oh, oh, this is, hey, this is the uh, event banner though. So we can pull using these tickets. 
Okay, so maybe it is achievable. All right. Well, that's that's pretty cool, I guess. Um. Okay, let me just wrap up a couple things here, and then I will try my hand at the raid boss event. Yeah, what's this? Oh yeah, Sky Arena reset. Don't need to worry about that right now. I think Secret Archive also reset. Yeah. Don't forget <laughs> anyone playing North America servers. Um, Secret Archive reset. So um, I have a video uh, showcasing uh, running through Secret Archive. So if you need you know some guidance on that, check out one of my videos there. Um, other than that, let's let's try out this new raid event. Sorry, just give me a sec. Challenge boss hunt still a thing. Okay, so everything reset. Oh yeah, it is. What day is it today? Wednesday? Or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So boss hunt reset, bloody palace reset, everything reset. So we're good there and yeah I don't think it takes stamina so I'm just gonna burn my sweepers here real quick again come on give me the jackpot nice <laughs> I find when we get when we land on like a jackpot or something there's a lot of trash usually but there is always one good one I find worth having a quick look through eh nothing really great yet nope 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 never mind this is probably the best one but still for where I'm at in the game it's pretty much trash okay going into the carnival let's see what this is about daily attempts two. so you can only run it twice so what were they talking about we can farm the content like what after activating perks during the event inflict bonus damage to boss which stacks with other bonuses all hunters plus 30 percent attack enjoy the following perks during the event claim pumpkin light times 10 daily or are they talking about the stupid the 699 shit yeah yeah this in this raid perks bullshit all right well i'm gonna skip out on that for now bro just let me okay so what's it uh reversing minotaur right so what team should i bring um what are we at what's everyone using yeah, fi I would think fire team. Or in this case, uh Does this mean it's 100% ice damage for me or the boss or is he like resistant to it? It clearly says ice plus 100% ice damage. So, and then when I read the bonus, it's showing Destined Executioner, you get more pumpkins for whatever rank you're at, so it would be wise for me to use DE. I've never actually used Ice Team against Minotaur before, because of boss hunt, so this should be kind of interesting. I don't really have, like, a, a rotation for playing Ice Team on Minotaur. <laughs> Um, anyways, we'll rock the, uh, standard team, D-E-F-G, um, I think I'll try, yeah, I'll try, uh, yeah, I'll just run SA. So, let's see what I got here, real quick, cards are set up right, weapons set up right, um, weapon set okay good and I'm actually gonna start with her uh, Navon set good her weapon 
Um, you know what? Actually, I am gonna do this. Yeah, so I can build up their buff first. All right, let's uh, let's try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the lineup only consists of ice type hunters, increase overall damage by thirty percent. Ah, oh, shit. That means I would need. That means I would need an ice third. Okay. Um. You know what? I might just put Mirage in. Unless, should I go with Ian? Nah, nah. Let's try e Let's try Mirage. Underwhelming Hunter, but let's just give it a shot. See what happens. Um, who should I give the Navon buff to then? Probably FG. Unless, yeah, yeah, it'll have to be her. Alright, sorry it's taking so long to, to get into this, but here we go. I'm ready to go. See what this is about. Nice. We got the fire minotaur. Okay, so that's why I was calling for ice. He's tanky. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Time to bleed. Oh my god, you know what? Barrage Slayer is gonna be so good for this boss. If if I can take away 50% of his shield instantly, he's gonna be busted for this. And of course it doesn't work. Yeah. So, look at the... Wait, what's happening? Ah, uh, my controller's bugging out. Shit, sorry guys. There it is. Okay, so this is some bullshit. So, Mirage Slayer's Devil Trigger, when activated, is supposed to remove, um an enemy shield by 50%, but clearly it's not working on this boss, so way to make a character's mechanics uh, pretty much irrelevant. And this is just a chalk run at this point, but we'll keep going. Holy fuck. That is, uh, that is really disappointing, that his uh, Devil Trigger, that would have made him so good for this event, being able to erase such a tanky shield, but nope, the game said nope. Man, that was pitiful, that was awful. I wonder if... 
Let me try, uh, uh, let me try EN, because I want to, I want to get that bonus damage, or else I'd use SA. Yeah, let me try this, let me try this group. Alright, let's see what they, I can do this time. the shield. Yeah. Alright, way better run. So, my first run was an absolute waste at 3 mil. <laughs> I mean at 1 mil. Uh, damage inflicted this time, 3 mil. Um, not really that great. <laughs> I could probably do way more with a different team, honestly. Someone like LS. But there goes my daily attempt, so <laughs> that is uh that is a chalked chalked run. Yo, what is this though? I thought they said that we'd be able to uh or maybe I'm just uh I don't know, maybe my memory's messed up, but I thought we were gonna be able to just repeatedly farm an event. Guess I was wrong. Alright, well, I'm gonna just spend the rest of these um, pumpkins. It's not bad. It's actually a decent selection of stuff here. Um. Yeah, so I have six, uh, man, I just keep getting more pumpkins. All 
Alright, so I got seven to work with. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> Every time I roll for more, I keep getting more. And again... A ten! Okay, now I got eight candies. Oh shit, what is this? What, did I like go up another level or something? What just happened? Why is it green? Or is it because I hit like a hundred? Interesting. Okay, I don't know what that did, but this is kind of annoying actually. Like, it just keeps drip feeding me more pumpkins as I keep rolling. That's the last of it. Okay, so with nine candies, I can now get nothing. <laughs> I'm just playing. So, yeah, I mean, probably get the tickets, right? That's where it'll best, best be spent. But I should probably wait until I get one more candy. Oh, that's pretty cool. On the first level, you get access to a selection chest on a legendary rune. That's good. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have got those gems. These would have been way better. Um, you know what? Let's just go with the five. I'll come back and get that six ticket once I get enough pumpkins. So then I can do... Uh, why is it red up there? Oh. Oh, because I can get the one. Okay, well, now that I have some tickets, we might as well just pull some, see what it's like. Yeah. Of course, it's just going to be garbage, because the rates in this game are abysmal. But, um, yeah, um, those tickets do go towards the summon rebate, which is really good. So, hopefully, you know, as a free-to-play, um, as someone who's free-to-play, hopefully you guys can get to the 100 during this event, as long as you're on it every day and consistent. Um, other than that, that looks like that's it. I thought it was going to be more... Based on the information we were given, I thought there was going to be like a repeatable that we can do. But... I guess we only get two daily attempts, which is pretty lame. Yeah, I mean, my expectations weren't that high coming in, to be honest. It is uh, Nebula Joy, and this game hasn't really gotten as much love as it should, so I'm not really too surprised, but at least it's something. I mean, it's something, but it still just kind of seems like a bit of a copycat of previous events. So, eh, it is what it is. Um, well, there you guys have it. We kind of just combed through everything the Halloween event has to offer, even though it's not that much. Um, anyways, hope you guys kind of enjoyed this format of video where, you know, I get to experience uh, new content for the first time along with you guys and kind of just give my commentary and um, take on things as we go through it. Um, but yeah, pretty much ends there. So I will see you guys in the next video.